Hello everyone, welcome, my name is Zero Gaming, and today I'm gonna teach you on how to make a weapon customization system. This is fairly easy, but it is very time consuming. So this is what we're gonna be creating. Um, so we're gonna start off with a blank screen, we have our weapons, and, and here's our weapon that's busy rotating around. You can change its optics. So that's what we're planning to do. Um, we're planning to create something like this. We can also change our weapon and so that's currently like what we what we what we are planning to do. Um, the script is actually fairly easy, but it as I said, it is time consuming. So first things first, what we're gonna do? Okay, let me just make a new scene. Okay, so I'd like to save this. Okay, so first things first, what we're going to have to do is that we're going to have to get a weapon model. So I'm just going to drag a weapon. Let's go with the ACR quickly. Okay, so we got our ACWR, but now like what I have to say is that that is way too fast, so let's make it zero. But of course, once again, it's way too close. So I'm going to go for a negative one. So now the camera's a little bit back and it's not in the way. I'm also gonna make the Y zero so like it looks like it actually is and that must stay zero no, no matter what. Um, you know what, let's go and make it a negative three. Negative three would be good, yeah, perfect. So now once we've done that we need to create an empty game object and let's just call this weapon customizer customizer okay so the weapon customizer what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag our weapons into that folder and um, and we just wanna animate that so the weapon, custom, weapon customizer is gonna become animated so um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a curve. Uh, let's just call it um, rotation. I'm just gonna call it rotation one due to um, I already have a rotation animation. So what we have to do is we just have to add, add a curve and nothing but the rotation. Rotation's all that we need. Um, I'm gonna drag mine out to become about eight seconds. So. Um, Come on. So in this curve, we are going to make, I think it's the Y, 360. Okay, so now the gun would rotate itself around. Just like that. Nothing else. But of course it's rotating by the stock, which is really weird. So this is what we're going to have to do. Let's just stop this animation. Okay, so I'm happy with the animation. Let's close the animation. So here's our animation. We must make sure that there is an animation thing because that's just gonna work, make it work the easiest way. So we drag the animation there, it plays automatically. We go into the animation loop time. We have to make sure that it is a looping animation. Let's move the AC, ACWR into its position nicely. So, Weapon customizer rotates from here, which is not what we want. So we want the AC WR to be moved back by I think it is negative zero point oh no, wrong one um, negative zero point five. Was it neg one? Let's, let's just go with one just to see how it is. Okay, so let's play the animation. So by now, this is just to get the gun to rotate. Okay, it's still rotating by its stock. Shoot. Crud, why is this happening? Uh, wait, wait, wait. It's not zero either. So, zero it out. Okay. Weapon customizer, we want to have it zero ACWR. Oh, seriously, come on. Wait, wait, let's drag that out. Okay. Now I see. So ACWR, oh, you're gonna be have to be moved back. I think three. 
Uh, let's go four. Yeah, four is going to work nicely. And apparently the main camera has to be moved back by mm, a lot. So main camera, let's make it seven. Okay. Let's drag the ACWR back in. And now let's play. See, now that's rotating much more nicer. It also looks nice. Um, it's not like how I did my one. I just moved my camera around, but everything is like the same. So now that we've done that, we don't really need to have that there. What we want to do is we want to create a C-sharp script. What are we going to call it? Let's call it... Um, weapon... What's wrong with me? Weapon... Customizer with an underscore, obviously. Okay, so that's our script. Let's open it up. It's busy opening. So, what we want to do is that we want to code buttons. When we click a button, then it is supposed to um, activate or deactivate a a attachment. So first things first, um, what we want to do is that we, in, still in the unity, we want to add a directional light, so it actually looks better, and I just want to leave it, so like if we play it right now, it does have that nice effect that it is like a shiny weapon, okay, so let's get back here, so first things first, what we're going to have to do, I'm just going to edit this, to my specifications and if you have seen the menu um, the menu tutorial we're going to mainly be basing off of that which is actually mm, it's it's okay but like it's I would highly recommend you go and like watch that video because I explain it um, while we're busy playing well going through the process of making a menu so let's get let's just jump straight into this we're gonna have to make a a public um, string called um current menu okay so now that we've done that we're also gonna have to create a um, a public oh come on Public void called um, nav gate two, and that's going to be a string as well, um, and it's going to be called next menu. There we go. So first things first, we're gonna have to say that our current menu is gonna equal next menu. So that's what nav two means. So we're also going to need our typical. You can make this private or public if you want to. I'm just gonna make it neither. I'm just gonna say void on GUI. So, um, in this, we are going to name our specific scenes on our menu. So, um, I'm going to have to make an if statement. If um, current, oh, I spelled current wrong. Current menu is, um, let's call it um, hub. If it is called hub, then we... Just before I finish this, we're gonna have to create a. Um, I'm gonna make this public. Public void. No, let's rather make it private. Private void called hub. Okay, so what hub is, it's very much um, our hub for the thing. And why isn't it working? Um, oh, okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna oh I see why. Whoopsie. Okay. Sorry about that guys. Huge mistake for me. There we go. Much better. Okay. So what we're gonna do is then we're just gonna type in hub 
and to this and that. And as you can see, everything just changed for me. I do not know why Mono Develop does this now. I hate it. I always hate fixing it. But now, on start, what we want is we want our current menu to equal hub. So, current menu is going to equal hub. And just do that. So, that's so when we start we're gonna instantly start our hub and I'm just gonna save it quickly and as you can see we have an error um, is this the issue it shouldn't be wait, 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 wait. Uh, 127 If current menu is hub. Oh, whoopsie. There we go. There we go. Okay, so now nothing should appear because we haven't applied the script. So um, let's just apply the script quickly. Weapon and right there, you should see it over here. Our current menu, it doesn't, it isn't preset. So let me just turn off this maximize. And when I start, it says that it is on the hub, which is perfect. So now, so now, due to us being on the hub, we want to have a um, we want to have a button. So we need to make an if statement, GUI dot button. It's going to be a new rect. Uh, the coordinates, let's just go 10 by 10 by 200 by 50. I like working with those numbers. And what should it say? It should say, um, ACR. Okay, let's just go with that. I don't want to put a W because ACR stands for Adaptive Combat Rifle, and that's actually what it's supposed to be called. Uh, oh wait, did I forget something? Oh yeah, see. Okay, it also, I think it sort of said something else. No, that was just it. Okay. Please work. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've done that, now we should see a, a button here. I can click it as many times as I want. But it's not going to do anything because I've encoded it to do anything. So what this is going to do is now, um, when I click it, I'm going to have to go to the ACR hub, where I'm going to have my optics, my my grips, my yeah, all of that stuff. So now this is where we have to spend a bit of time. So I'm just going to grab some stuff that I that I'm just going to take out of my official demonstration and I'm just going to put it on here so let's just go with a EOTech as well and let's just go with those two attachments um, so now that we've done that now now this is where we have to spend a bit of our time we're gonna have to place it nicely so I'm going to adjust its size and rotate it Make sure it's facing the right way, put it on there, and slide it on. Now, this is going to take a bit of time. Ugh, let me just turn it. Uh, I hate these gizmos. Okay, so let's just do that, and yeah, that's, that's going to be fine. Let's pull it back a little bit. Perfecto. Okay, and then now it's time for the EOTech. And let's just scale it down again. And let's rotate it. And let's move it into position. Make sure it's nicely on. I don't really care about its size and all. 
I just want to make sure it's nicely on. Okay. There we go. So now that's currently our weapon. If we start playing, then now it's 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 like that. And um, yeah, the reason is because we haven't applied we haven't applied anything inside. So let's just grab these two and just drag them in. So now now you're gonna see the attachments and how it looks. Um, and I just want to add a texture onto my angled foregrip because like the angled foregrip without a texture looks horrible because the the angled foregrip actually does look pretty cool so there we go we've got our textures and everything so now let's go back into mono develop our main bugger okay so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to create a another menu so if current menu is um let's call it ACR then it's supposed to be ACR let's just oh come on why are you doing this ACR there we go oh come on ACR Okay, so now let's just go here. We create another private void called ECR. Let's do, let's do that. And now that we've done that, that issue has gone away. And I'm just going to get rid of that. Hate mono develop now. I really do not like what it's doing. So, first things first, we're going to have to create a back button. And that's going to be fairly simple because we can just copy that, paste it there. And let's just rename it to be back back okay so now this is where we're gonna have to put a little bit of work into it and this is why we do navigate to so now all that we have to do is now navigate to and then now we just do oh, come on what's wrong with me okay navigate to and it's gonna be called ACR because we are gonna navigate to the ACR and now this one we're just going to say navigate to and it's going to be called hub so now I will be able to switch between the two and they would be in the exact same position now errors perfecto and now I can ACR and back perfect they work very nicely and the gun's rotating, it has its attachments on. So like I'm just gonna turn them off just for now. So we can continue working with mono develop. This is what we're gonna be working most of the time because due to the coding is the heart of the game, so so let's just work with this. We're gonna also have another if statement for another button. If GUI dot button Gonna be a new rift which is gonna be once again 10 but now um 70 and 200 and 50 and what's it gonna say it's gonna say optics and PC DNC is no optics there we go and it's gonna say the exact same thing. This, oh, we'll see. Hate mono develop. Okay. So now that we've got that, we're also gonna have to once again create another one of these. If current menu is ACR underscore optics. Oops, I forgot those. ACR optics, then it is going to be. Uh, it is going to be. What should I name it? Uh, it's going to be another private void called ACR. Let's just call it ACR op. ACR OP. <laughs> LOL. Oh, come on. Ok. 
Okay, that up there. Nice. Okay. ACR OP. So it's going to take us to ACR OP. <laughs> LOL. Okay. So here, we just do that and bam. So now, over here, I'm just going to copy this. It's just going to be much more faster to work with. It's going to be called ACR. Yes. Okay. So now we're gonna be here, and now let's just copy this back button because we always want a back button to take us back. But now this time we're just gonna take us back to the ACR, not the hub. Come on. There we go. So now if I just save it, check is there any issues? There shouldn't be. Perfect. And now let's play. So ACR, we have our optics and we don't have a back button because we haven't put one in wait we have uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh whoopsie I named it incorrectly Optics. there we go sorry about that I just didn't name it correctly my mistake See, now we have that back button and it takes us back everywhere we want to go. So now that we've done that, now let's let's just go to the optics and let's create a new if statement. I don't want to do that. I just want to copy this over and let's paste it and let's call it the, um, let's call it non. And we're not supposed to navigate to anything. Let's also create another if statement. And this one is going to now be 1... 130. Yeah, 130. And the, this one is going to be called um, ions. Because we have to have our typical iron sites and we just erase that. Okay, and then now let's also do another if statement for our holographic. So it's going to be called the EOTech. Because since it is an EOTech holographic site, full name, she's very long. Okay, so for those, we are going to have to create a public game object called, um, let's just call it ACR underscore ions. ACR ions, we're also going to have to have another public game object called um, ACR um, holographic. Wait, 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 no, let's just call it E. Tick. Okay, holographic E. Tick. Okay. So, um, and is that it? Yes, that should be it. Wait, for another weapon, what you want to do that you want to create a public game object oh, come on. game object called um, the weapon's name and then now what that would do is that now it will ask you for the for the ACR itself oh. uh, where we lost the issue 48. Oh, I already have the, that name. Okay. An ACR weapon. Okay. So let's just save that. Well, otherwise, let's just call it ACR Hub. Why not? Okay. So that should be gone. Perfect. So what we're going to do is that, like, due to our script being on the main camera, as you can see, we should have three game objects. Sorry, I'm... I'm, I'm not good today. So we are, it's asking for a um, our gun itself. So I'm just going to drag the gun in. The ACR's ions, which is mesh 007. And then now the EOTech, which is named EOTech site. Perfect. So now that we've got that done, it's not going to do anything because we haven't coded it to done any, do anything. So by default, this is what I do with everything because um, it's just going to make it work a lot easier no matter how messy the game is so 
what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go with ACR EO tech is going to be dot set active now this is very important false F A L S E. Okay. So now that we have done that, when we start, no matter if it is open or on in the in in the scene, when we start the game, it will be turned off. This also increases smoothness of the game, but like it's a weapon customizer, it shouldn't lag whatsoever unless if your weapons are way too high poly. Okay. So, now that we've done that, uh, we've also got to do the ACR irons, which is going to be dot set active, it's going to be once again false, and save that. Okay, so when we click non, I'm just going to do this, it's just going to work a lot more easy, I don't have to bother about anything. Just copy that. And when we go to non, let's just paste it. Irons, paste it. Eotech, paste it. But now this is all that we have to do. I'm just going to, this is the irons, so I'm going to delete that and say true. Okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to copy it. And now it's the Eotech. True. So now if I save it, remember we have just applied everything so all we have to do is now we just have to click the button in order to enable so as you can see there is no optics on the rail when we go to optics we have oh shoot whoopsie okay the irons they pop up and non yeah apparently non's in front of the eotech wait what's wrong with the eotech uh oh it's the same okay um 190 that's it okay there we go that must be better now Start the game. ACR optics. There we go. Much better. EOTech. There's the EOTech holographic. The ions, and then none. So see, that's all that we have to do. Um, this also applies for um. This also applies for the grips and everything else. So I'm just going to. I'm just going to do the grips as well. So um, let's create a. Private void called ACR underscore group. Do that. Okay. So in this, we're going to very much have the exact same thing. Our if statements and our non. Okay. So the back doesn't have to change. We just need to change this. So I'm going to erase this. And we're gonna have to add two more variables. Well, like since I only have one grip, I only need to add one. So it's gonna be a public game object called the ACR. Um, let's call it the AFG because that stands for angled full grip. And on start, AFG. Well, the ACR AFG is going to be dot set active. Is gonna be. False. Save that. Okay. And we're just going to go here and non. We're going to do ACR underscore angled full group. Set active is going to be false. Okay. So that's non. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this over. Copy it over, paste it here, let's erase this. Not yeah, let's just erase that one. And the ACR AFG. There we go. So now that we've done that, now we just need to apply our angled foregrip. We ha should have a new variable here. There it is. And here's my angled foregrip. Let's just drag it there. So now when we start we should have Oh wait, I haven't coded it. Okay. Another thing, we're gonna have to code the buttons. We must never forget to code the buttons. If GUI dot button Oh sorry, I'm really sick. I got a really runny nose. Okay, button which is gonna be a new rec 
Alright. Next one's going to be 10, comma, 130, comma, 200 by 50. And it's going to say, uh, grips. And where's it going to take us? It is. It's going to take us to. Mm, if current menu is uh, ECR underscore groups, then it should take us to here. If you're wondering, I do use my keyboard um, commands. So like it's much more faster than saying right click copy, right click paste, this this stuff. I use keyboard commands, it's a lot faster. And so now we should just code that in over here. So we get to um ACR underscore groups. Is ACR grip or ACR grips? Grips, perfect. So now we should navigate to here and yeah. So let's start this. Let's. Oh, what well, has happened? 68. 68, 68, 68. 68 over here. Oh, sorry. Whoopsie. Okay, let's try that again. Any errors? No. Okay. So now we should have a folder called grips, irons, oh wait, 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 ah, uh, poop, wait, uh, didn't do that nicely, okay, um, let's call it the angled for, wait, sorry, <coughs> thank you for, if you do say bless you. Okay, angled for grip. And this is the ultimate test to see if it does work. Angled for grip false, angled for grip true. And let's go. Wait, why is the angled for grip? Oh, that's one. Okay, let's turn that off. Okay, let's try this again. ACR grips. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now we can customize our gun how we want to with the EO tech on the graphic or just with the plain light irons. And so that's how it works. Um, I'm not really going to go through the whole process again just to show you um, how to well, just do that whole entire thing. I'm just going to add another gun and I'm going to show you on how to work that. So let's just go with the M16. Where would this ACR speak then? Um, M16 A4, let's just drag you up like so. Make sure that the handles, I work by the handles because the handles work very well. Um, and let's just drag the M16 back by how much? Let's go for negative 4. Is it negative 4? Is it negative 5? Um, ah, shoot. Um, let's go for negative 4.87. There we go, much better. And, yeah, let, let's go by that. Let's drag it into the weapon customizer. And if I turn the ACWR off, now you should be able to see this one now rotating due to the ACR just being on like that. So, um, that's another thing that we have to do. On start, we want the ACR to be on. So, um, so ACR itself, um, the ACR weapon dot set active is going to be true. So now when we start the game, it should be on no matter if it is off. So let's turn the M16 off. Oopsie. Okay. 
and now it should be on and we can change our optics and our grips so now that we've done that now let's just code in the the M16 and now let's just go something quick and simple um, so on the hub we're gonna have to have a new button so if GUI dot button um, it's gonna be a new rect um, it's gonna be 10 by 10 oh no not 10 uh, 70 by 200 by 50 okay and that's gonna say the I, I like the M6 I like the M16A3 more than the M16A4, but let's just call it the M16A3, although you guys know that it is the M16A4, so M16A4, <laughs> M16, okay, 3, fix up that A, okay, so now that we've done that, now we just have to do that, wait, no, 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 sorry, this, Mono develop. Why did you have to update and do and add that function? I hate it. So we're gonna have to create a new thing over here. So let's call it a if current menu is um in sixteen. Then now um what we're gonna do is that we're going to what should we call it? Let's just call it the um, M16. I'm not too sure if it can end with a number. Let's just test it out. Um, oh, come on. Whoopsie. There we go. Whoopsie. And let's just go down here and let's create another private void called um, M16 A3 oh, so you can, cool exactly what I wanted and then now over here we're just going to code a back button which is going to take us back to the um, hub ok so let's save that and as well another thing when we press this button we want the and now this is where it comes crucial. We have to have the acr underscore weapon dot set active. It's going to be false because we can click on this and the M16 won't show up. But maybe it might. But the issue is that the that the acr if you did click on it, or by default it should be on. The acr will be turned on no matter what. So we're just going to do this, the ACR is going to be turned off when we click the M16A3 and when we click the ACR the ACR underscore weapon dot set active is going to oh come on, why do you do this? set no ACR dot set active Oh, I see why. Whoopsie. Sorry about my stupid mistake. ACR underscore weapon dot set active. It's gonna equal true. Now this is where we're gonna have to create the M16 weapon. So we're gonna have to create a public game object called the M16. Um. A3 weapon. Okay, so now that we've done that, let's just copy that over and it's going to be much more faster now. So it's going to be navigate to. Um, it's in. Wait, M16. So now when we navigate to the M16, we should. Just get this dot set active is gonna be true. 
Okay. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 that's happening when I click the button. Let's just copy that, delete it. Oh, whoopsie, okay. Um, and let's just do that. Mm, and then over here, where were you here? Oh, shoot. Okay, um, you see, oh, and that's gonna equal false. Okay, so now when we click the buttons now, it should function on how I, s I previewed it to you, M16. Oh, whoopsie. Okay, we have not... To, uh, how do I say this? We have not assigned the M16 yet. So hopefully now it works. There we go. So now if we click the ACR, it goes back to the ACR. If we click the M16A3, it goes back to the M16A3. Okay. So the ACR... With the M16, I can still work with all... I just have to code this in so like it works with all of this stuff. I just don't want to do that because like you 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 know how did how you did with the ACR. All you just have to do is just copy it over. Concentrate on what you type because I on my like some of my tutorials, you guys are like um, it, it, I have this problem. I, I do not know why it, why this happens. Please help. And it's just because like how you guys are like um coding you you may mistaken this for this or that for that so like it is you just need to concentrate on what you code so i hope you guys enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe i appreciate all of your support and i'll see you on my next video